Hey, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I will be doing a full and complete tutorial on using the camera function on the Samsung Galaxy S5 phone. And as you know, this phone comes with a very, very good camera. On the back of the phone is a 16 megapixel camera, has face detection autofocus, below that is a LED flash. The front of the phone is a 2.1 megapixel camera up top. To begin taking photos, first locate the camera app and press this icon here. After the camera app opens, you can press the video button here to begin recording video. And while you're recording video, you can press this camera button to take a picture while the video is recording. And then to stop, press the stop button. I'll go back to the camera mode. The camera will automatically select a subject to focus on, but you can also specify where you want to focus by tapping anywhere on the screen. And as you can see in the background, I have several objects placed at different distances. And all you have to do is, let's say, if I want to focus on the subject at the back here, what you'll see is that once I press this area, it'll focus and the circle will become green. And if I want to focus the front area, then the front area is going to be focused. So once you've selected the subject to focus, you can press the camera button here to take the picture. And this works the same way if you were to use landscape mode. You can select different subject to focus on. And then whenever you're ready, press the button here and I'll take a picture. The next feature I want to show you is the selective focus mode. is represented by the icon right here. There are two heads here in the icon. And if you press it, it will toggle on the selective focus mode. What this will allow you to do is have the subject in sharp focus while the background is all blurred. And what that will do is that when you look at the picture at the end, it will make the subject stand out a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on the subject and take a picture. So I say processing. And then what you want to do is go to the preview button here to look at the picture right here. Looking at the preview of the photo, there's an icon right here for selective focus editing. Press that. And this will allow you to choose what you want to have focus. So here there are three choices. You have near focus, far focus, and pan focus. So right now it's selected on the near focus, meaning the subject that's nearest to you is in focus and the background is blurred. If I choose the far focus, what you'll see is that the back is now in focus and the front subject is blurred. Or if you do the pan focus, what that will allow is the background and the foreground where the subject is, both of them are going to be in focus. So I'm going to press the near focus so that the subject's in focus and the background's blurred. Press done and I'll save the picture. The icon below the selective focus is the HDR, stands for High Dynamic Range. And what that will do is that in this mode, it will allow you to have the subject, for example, right here, the light is coming in from behind the subject. So the face is not lit up that well. And in HDR mode, it will give it a more richer tone when you take a picture. So here, HDR is turned on. If you want to turn it off, just press that icon there. And again, turn it back on. Just press that icon. And then take a picture. While you're composing the picture, you can use your fingers to spread out, to zoom in, and to pinch, to zoom out.
on the bottom right hand corner here you have the mode button press that and it will show you all the different mode available on this camera by default the A is the auto and then next to it you have beauty face this mode will allow the subject to have a lightened and more gentler image next one is a shot and more the shot and more will take a series of photos and then apply the effects to them with the shot and more mode the camera will take a series of pictures as the subject move across in front of the camera so I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture right now and depending on the quality of the picture it takes it will show you the different options or effects it can apply to it so in this case you can see that the drama shot is available and also the panning shot is available so let's try the drama shot so here's an example of the drama shot and you can see at the bottom I can actually add more photos to it So this is one of the effects you can add when you're doing a shot and more. Once you like the photo, then you press the save button and it will save the photo. If you want to go back in to edit that photo again, press the preview button here. And then you'll see an icon here with a star. Click on that and then click on this icon here edit it and it will show you the different effects available for this photo best photo drama shot panning shot so let's say I want to click on the panning shot and here you see the different effects do if I select the motion blur click done save it now I'll say that image is saved to studio folder so I'll show you where that studio folder is open your gallery from the top here select the menu and choose the studio option here you select the photo studio then you'll see a folder here called studio select that and here are all the saved photos that we apply the effects to it. The next one is a panorama. Panorama will take the photo which is composed of many different photos and string them together giving you a panorama look. To use the panorama mode we'll select it and then you'll see this image here telling you that you can move the camera in either direction left or right and to start it you need to press the camera button right here and then you want to do one sweeping motion from left to right or right to left and then we're going to go ahead and uh, start this so go ahead and press the camera button here we'll start it and I'm going to move in one direction you'll see the progress here as it moves and then when I'm done I'll press the stop button here I'll be processing and then click the preview at the bottom right hand corner and then you'll see the photo next one is the virtual tour mode the virtual tour mode allow you to take many photos by moving around and shooting from different angle of a space like a room and it will create a stereoscopic image to use the virtual tour mode go ahead and press the mode here and then watch the green dot make sure it's in the center once it's all green it will take the first shot and it will ask you to go forward or turn left and right in this case we're going to go forward 
Whenever you see that green dot, you want to stop. Turn left. Turn right. When you're done, press stop. Press the preview button here. And then you can play it. The next one over is the dual camera mode. The dual camera mode will allow you to take a picture using the rear facing camera while superimposing an image of what's seen on the front camera here. So there's an inset of the front camera's image superimposed onto the main picture being taken by the rear facing camera. To use the dual camera mode, go ahead and press this and then what you'll see is that there is an image in the top left hand corner that's from the front facing camera and the bigger picture is from the rear facing camera so just compose your picture and when you're ready press the camera button and take the picture on the camera interface at the bottom left hand corner there is a gear icon this is for the settings if you open that up the top there are settings for the picture size Right now set to 16 megapixel burst shots so you can take a series of photos continuously. Picture stabilization so you can turn it on and off. Face detection you can also turn it on and off. And some of these settings are for your video recording. At the bottom here you have uh, different effects you can apply to the picture. So for example you can select even a fish eye here and it'll give you a fish eye effect or grayscale. I'm going to turn this off. And right next to it, you can turn off the flash. You can set the timer. This is the HDR mode, on or off. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually bring some of these shortcuts over to the left side here. So let's say for the burst shots, hold it down. I'll drag it over here. And you see the shortcuts created here. If you want to get rid of it, just click on that, hold it. Drag it back over here, and now it's gone. Well, I hope uh, this video was helpful to all those people who are using the Samsung Galaxy S5. And this video will kind of give you an idea of how to use a camera and all the functions that come with it. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.